Okay, that anointing is the Holy Spirit. He's in me. He's probably in you too if you're born again. And so that would be there. Now, the reason what we do works is because I release faith. And I have faith in God that he wants to heal you to the point where he's already paid for it. And so I have faith in it. So, but if I was to, now that's, that's a fact. That's the way it works. Nothing happens without faith. So you can talk about the anointing. You can talk about a gift. But all of that has to be because of the faith of the person that is doing the stuff. Now, but if I wanted to be somebody, then I would preach on the anointing and tell you, you got to get to me because I'm anointed. And we could emphasize that. And then you'd go out here probably talking about my anointing or whatever it is. And it would build me up, which would cause more people to come because that's what happens. Because that's the idea behind it. Now, what we do, is it the anointing? Yes, of course, it's the Holy Spirit. Same one you got. And, but I still have to release faith. Right? It doesn't happen just because I have the Holy Spirit. It happens because I have the Holy Spirit and because... I release faith in God of what he said he has done and will do. Does that make sense? Now, but you'll notice we don't ever talk about that. Why? Because my job is not to be the man. My goal is not to be somebody. Right? I was somebody before anybody thought I was somebody. Why? Because God thought I was somebody. He thinks you're somebody. Amen? And so the idea is that I'm trying to get these truths to you so that you will have faith in God so that God will be able to work through you the way I've seen him work through me. That's what I want. And I want you to do the same things that Jesus did. As we were talking about the other day, we were watching the movie The Chosen. And, you know, there's some, good, some, there's some really good parts. And then there's some that's like, ah, I wish they'd asked me before they did that one. <laughs> I'll just be honest. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm watching that and we had to pause it and I'm sitting there crying and I don't know if you might not know this or not but if you hear me talk much you'll, you'll know I, I spend a good time a good bit of time crying <laughs> okay just sometimes it's well there's different reasons but I was sitting there and I paused the show and I my wife asked me, are you crying? I'm like, <laughs> no, I have something in my eye. Uh, something in my eye. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, no I, I didn't do that. I told her, yes, I am. And I said, I've seen Jesus do that. I saw that in South Africa. I saw when he did that. That very thing that they showed on that program, I saw him do that in South Africa. I saw him do this in Korea. I saw this happen. All these scenes that we're seeing in this show, I've seen him do them. And there's nothing like seeing him do it. That it does two things. Your faith goes, Whoo. but guess what? <laughs> Your pride goes, <laughs> and you realize this is him. And you are just so amazed and you just want to spend your time with your head on the ground, worshiping him because of what you've seen him do. And I want you to see the same stuff. And you will if you hang around. You will see it. Why? Because the stuff we've seen, we've seen some amazing things both here and on the road and everything else. But we ain't seen nothing yet. You watch. We're going to see the same thing in greater. And we're going to see it greater in magnitude greater in number why because Jesus the scripture says that the eyes of the Lord roam to and fro over the face of the earth seeking those in whom he can show himself strong and when we set ourselves to be that people that he can show himself strong through he will show up and show himself strong and you get to be a part of that amen